Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so the Nostalgia Critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. Peter Sellers and Blake Edwards, much like with Tim Burton and Michael Keane, dominated movies in their time. In the 60s and 70s, Pink Panther was the thing for comedy movies. Unfortunately, there was an 11 year layoff between A Shot in the Dark and the movie that I'm reviewing today. I'm guessing because Peter Sellers wanted to do other stuff. Because he is the master of disguise. He can blend in and be any character he wants and succeed with it. But his most famous character, easily, without a debate, is his role as Chief Inspector Jacques Clouseau in the Pink Panther series. So after an 11 year hiatus, Blake Edwards and Peter Sellers decided to reunite and come up with another Pink Panther movie. Hence the name of the title, Return of the Pink Panther. This one also featured Herbert Lom as Charles Dreyfus who absolutely despised Clouseau. And you had Christopher Plummer as Sir Charles Lytton, otherwise known as the Phantom, who wanted to steal the diamond, the Pink Panther diamond. So, will Clouseau, as he would say, get the case in COVID? Let's solve this case in Return of the Pink Panther. So the movie starts with the MGM logo and the famous roaring lion. Hello, Lion. And, ooh, Jules. Now, it's Jules Production as well as Pimlico Films. Those two also um, contributed to the movie. So, credit for them. Or, credit goes to them. And we start with some... Some region in the Middle East or something like that. Or maybe it's France. I don't know. But in any case, they're giving a tour of the Pink Panther Diamond, which has been stowed away and secured. Because Sir Charles Linton stole it the last time. For those who haven't watched the Pink Panther movie, I'm going to give away the ending, which I guess is a spoiler alert! But uh, Inspector Clouseau caught Sir Charles Linton, and you would think put him away, but Clouseau's wife, who had a thing with Linton, wanted to make sure Linton got off scot-free. So they got Clouseau to be busted, Linton got off scot-free, and that was that as far as that movie. Since then, the Pink Panther Diamond has been secured. And this museum. For tourists to watch. And you're about to see... The Pink Panther himself. This is the one flaw of this famous diamond. If you look at it at an angle, you'll see that Pink Panther. And you'll hear this theme song. So as I mentioned, Herbert Lom and Christopher Plummer are just a couple of the other actors in this movie. Herbert Lom plays Charles Dreyfus. He's a psychotic maniac who will stop at nothing to make sure Clouseau is gone for good. Not this cartoon version, but you get the point. And Christopher Plummer, whom I believe sounds like Kenneth Branagh, who played many roles in the Shakespeare reenactments in movies, and then he was also... Uh, he also was in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but he didn't do this movie. Christopher Plummer did, but he does sound like him, as you can see right there. So we're going to cut a little bit further into the movie, and we see that the Pink Panther, after dancing, is going to get stolen away by the Phantom. Or at least you think it's the Phantom. This is how clever the Phantom is. I mean, look at that. That's unbelievable. And he gets away! How did he survive those machine guns? How? I have no clue. So obviously, they have to call on Clouseau, who was on patrol. You know, on patrol! I'm on patrol! I'm on patrol! Let a crime group get away, he got fired, or suspended for six months, and then afterwards, Dreyfus got a call saying that Clouseau's to be reinstated so he can catch the murderer, or the Pink Panther. And that's, uh, that's his assistant, Kato. 
Yeah, if you you'll notice a trend, at least beginning with the shot in the dark, Cluzo and Kato always go at each other with their karate skills. Cluzo usually gets the better of Kato. But anyways, he's gonna get the call that he's indeed reinstated. He's gonna go after the Phantom. Or at least you think it was the Phantom. And there he is. In his inspector outfit. And there's Lady Lytton. She's returning from Paris. Wait. Wait. Paris? She just returned from Paris. The Pink Panther Diamond resides in Paris. The Pink Panther Diamond was stolen. The white monogram glove, which, by the way, is a painted uh, leaving of the pink, uh, the Phantom itself. Ooh, don't you think all these clues are coming together? Well, we need to jot these down in our handy dandy notepad. Then we go to our thinking chair and think, think, think as to who stole the Pink Panther Diamond. Our clues are Lady Litton. Paris, France, and the leaving at Paris, France. So who would steal the Pink Panther diamond with Lady Linton, Paris, France, and leaving Paris, France? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to find more pink clues to figure this out. Not to worry. I'm going to skip way farther into the movie. So we can figure out this crime. Yes. So Cluzo is trying to interrogate Lady Litten with another one of his pendant disguises. And again, the clumsiness. So we are getting towards the end of the movie and there is the Phantom. And you're about to find out who indeed stole the Pink Panther Diamond. Oh, by the way, he's giving her breakfast. He spanned across the country just to try and find the person, and it came all the way to Lady Litton. Bonjour, madame. Breakfast. Voila. Sleepy Tom with our son. Wow. A sleepy Lady Litton. That is awesome. All right. How about the little... Oh, brother, get a room! All right, all right. Now, where is it? <gasps> you don't think! You're telling me Sir Charles Lytton didn't steal the What's Panther it? Diamond? I hope so. You hotel waiters lead such an interesting life. No, 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 no. What is this, James no, no, Frickin' no, Bond for crying out loud? Oh, my God. That depends on what you're looking for. Now, come on, Claudine, please stop. Now, where is it? I'm losing patience. Shall I ask the hotel to send up another waiter? I should like very much if you would hand me over the pink panther if it is not too much trouble. Oh, brother. How did you find out so quickly? <gasps> Feminine intuition. It was Lady Lynn! We just figured out pink clues! Dun, 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 dun! We just figured out pink clues! We just figured out pink clues! We just figured out pink clues! Because we're really smart! Not really, this was so obvious. My body to Clouseau if it was necessary. So as you can see, Strangefish goes off the deep end and ends up going into a nut house. Another tourist of group come to see the Pink Panther Diamond after it was retrieved by Cluzo. And by the way, it was indeed promoted to Chief Inspector. A role he would, or an honor he would claim for the last two Pink Panther movies that Peter Sellers was alive for. And so, with that being said, that was Return of the Pink Panther. I hope you had really fun solving this one, and I want to thank you so much for all your help figuring this one out, because you did squat! But in any case, back to the movie itself, Return of the Pink Panther was an incredible movie. I liked all the Peter Seller movies. I really hated it when Steve Martin came in and tried to revise the role, revive the role of the Pink Panther in Cluzo. It did not turn out too well, and to that I say, the hell with you. Peter Sellers will go down as our greatest Pink Panther actor ever. Cluzo reigns supreme with freaking Peter Sellers. So once again, I thank you for all your help 
which you did nothing, and get out of my house. Go on. Bye-bye. I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it, doesn't it sound so good, it doesn't have to, and neither should you.